Is on the dams at the Beaver Lakes. We got a band, baby! Hey everyone, Cooper Holbrook here with Fins and Furs Outdoors. Today I will be going to a couple ponds that I have in mind to do some bass fishing. I went out yesterday and I had a little success, but today we'll go back out again. I didn't have much time. Um, I just wanted to show you guys I got a new rod and reel set up. Um, I got a Berkeley rod. Just got it at Cabela's. Um, it was cheap, but I'm hoping that I can get more rods and reels combos to take out and also help you guys out on what what products work for me and I'm not gonna go buy expensive ones. So um, I also got a Savage Reel and I have uh, 20 pound spider wire on it. And that's just my setup and I'm gonna use it today and uh, I think it's supposed to be like 73 been pretty warm lately so let's hope we can go get some. Here we are, spot number one. Got the Berkeley rod, the Savage reel, and a jig head, flipping jig. Here we are, spot number one. Spot number two. I came here yesterday and caught two. There's one. Oh. First bass of the day. I didn't have the most time yesterday, so I'm going to try to keep up what was going on down, going down yesterday, and see if we can't catch a couple largemouth. There's one. Oh, it came off. Oh, I was adjusting my backpack. And it just took off with it right towards the middle. First cast, literally. This could be a good sign. There's one. That is a nice Nebraska fish. Oh, he's been caught before. Oh my gosh. Someone snapped off on him. He's got something down in his stomach. Oh, oh my gosh. Got it. Oh, just a beaver. Looks like pumpkin, pumpkin seed. Not a bad bass. Another one, not as big as the last one, but we'll take her. Choke that. That's when you know you're, do, you're using the right bait. There you go. That is what we like to see. Healthy fish. Go back and do your thing. Fish number two. Wow. Good 
good thing I have uh, the um craws from the Wonder Tackle Box in here, or else I would be throwing something completely different. New rig. Trig, Yum Craw from the Wonder Tackle Box. And my cranked jig is out. Skirt isn't what did it. The M craw did it itself. Smallest, skinniest one of the day, but fish is a fish. Small bass. There's one. Oh. That was a uh, solid bite. Um, oh, came out. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Bite in this one spot. That was just that was super small ticks. That one. That was a smash. <clears throat> Waited long enough on that one. Two misses in a row. Oh my gosh, another snap. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is my line from earlier. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. Oh my gosh. You guys aren't going to believe this. Alright, 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 alright. What is this? When I snapped off earlier, it snapped off at a knot that I had. And I just casted. And I had some... It was just... I felt like I was rubbing on a tree. Reeled it in. I had line on it. And it looked like my line, so I reeled it in really careful to make sure that I got the line before it fell off. I got it in, grabbed the line, and hand reeled this in. That is just the most bizarre story I can think of. What are the odds that this could, would happen? So, wow. What are the odds? Just a little bass, but I mean, I'm just, I'm in shock right now. Healthy, a little thick, nice healthy bass. We gotta get it underwater. Release on this guy. That is just mind blowing right now. I'm still in awe. Got 
my hook in my claw gap there. Alright guys, after that long day of fishing and um, being out in the sun, I just had to shower and I uh, went to Cabela's, kind of looked over what film I had got so I could see what I needed to talk about. Um, it was a very crazy day. That's my first time going out and being successful and I definitely had some stories. Um, my buddies didn't believe me at first, but with film I was able to show them. Um, the important thing that I, just what I used today, um, I had a cranked jig, flipping jig, with a craw behind it. Um, I had a power bait craw, it was apparently my last one. Um, and after I had snapped off, thankfully, I had Wonder Tackle Box still in my backpack so that I could use their yum craws, uh, or else I, I probably would have been throwing a Senko or trying a moving bait. Um, but. It was a good day all out. I was, I'm still getting used to this Berkeley rod and uh, the Savage Reel. Uh, I'm not used to it. I have a Abu Garcia and it has better quality and it's a little easier to use. Um, but it also has mono and I feel like braid just makes it a little bit more difficult. But uh, I did go to Cabela's and I got some more flipping jigs. They're not quite cranked, but you know I'm hoping to go in the next couple days and I didn't really want to order any. Um, but with this new rod and reel, for anybody who's like me, something that's cheap but still works and is nice, um, it's not a piece of crap. And you know, this, this Berkeley rod, it's an amp, it's seven foot medium. I got the seven foot so I could get out there a little bit better and uh, medium, just because I've never really been a fan of medium heavies yet. Um, with the Savage reel and the Berkeley rod, $30 and you know, I have no complaints with it. It did everything I wanted. It sensitivity was nice. I could feel all the taps and everything. The reel was, you know, I've taken this out a couple times and I've been frustrated with it because I just don't know how to use it. But as you get used to it, you know, it's not a terrible reel. I got it for thirty-seven dollars. It was on sale, so you know, it's a it's a good beginner's combo just for someone who doesn't have quite the money. And being in college, I have books and everything else that are a little bit more important than a reel. But, you know, I, I don't have any problem with this. And I'll link it down in the description so you guys can go check it out. Um, just for any of you guys that are out there that need something like this. Um, I will also have what I use down in the description. But what I really want is from you guys. So this is something I wanna make into a series this summer. I want to, I work two days a week and I want to go fish the other days, random places, do challenges, just maybe teach, learn, um, but I just, I need help from you guys on what you guys want and for this being the first bass video of the summer, just what you enjoyed and what you didn't, um, any feedback is very welcome. Also, if you guys have a good name for this. I would like to make it a series, so I want a name to title it under the playlist, and I just haven't found anything clever yet. Um, creativity is not quite there, so if you guys can please help me out with that, just leave uh, a comment down below on what you think that this series could be called, and I will pick one of them because it, it's not gonna come from my brain, that's for sure. Thank you guys for watching another Fins and Furs production video. We are hoping to get this out there. I also have a new logo that's coming out. Um, if you want to see it, it's on Instagram. We'll ask you guys' opinion and we'll go from there. Thanks again.